Do you have some issues with blurry images in your CCTV camera? In this video, you're gonna learn how to fix it. So, keep watching. Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Claudemir Martins and today I will talk about shutter speed that's very important for security cameras. With shutter speed, you can control the blurriness of your image. That means you can have clear pictures when you freeze your image, when you do slow motion in your video, you can clearly see what's there, okay? But before you continue, just make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you're not yet, just click in the link below. Also click the link in the description to download your free guide and don't forget to hit the thumbs up and leave your comments if you like this video, okay? So let's go directly here to my computer. We can see here a video from some cars in California. They're crossing the border with Mexico. When I run this video here and I freeze it, I can clearly see the image just right here, the plate. BGA1642, for example, and this software is going to recognize this license plate. I'm just running a little bit more, and then I see that the software got right. BGA1642, okay? Let's see the next one. The card is coming there. It's pretty, pretty far yet. Now it's close to the camera. If I freeze it, it's 6RXY484, okay? Let's see it. 6RXY484, so I got it right, okay? So the camera needs to be installed in a situation like this, when you clearly see the image, but you need also to control your shutter speed. If you not control your shutter speed correctly, you're not gonna see the image clearly like this, okay? So basically you need to go to your camera and adjust your shutter speed. If you have an IP camera, it's easy, you can do remotely, if you have analog camera, you still can do it, just like the camera I have right here. So I have this box camera. It's an analog camera, but you have here some controls. By pressing those controls, you can see a menu on the screen, and then you can control your shutter speed. It's pretty easy, okay? I'm gonna show you guys here in the guide that I have. Let me just change here my screen. Go here to this guide. This is the Ultimate Security Camera Guide. They have a lot of information there. You can find it on my blog, learnctctv.com. Let's go to page 165. It's not here, here's frames per second, frames per second. It's just right here, shutter speed. Let's see here, for example, this picture. I have a car and this car is moving and you can see here some blurriness, okay? And I cannot see the picture clearly. Let me zoom a little bit more. And here you're not, you cannot see it, okay? And just right here, I can see that's a Pompano Beach Boulevard because it's not moving. I can clearly see here and I'm not seeing this image here because it's moving, okay? If the shutter speed was a little bit higher, I could see the picture, right? Clearly with no blurriness. Okay, with no blurry in the image, all right? So I need just to adjust my shutter speed for that. Let me see something else here in the guide. You can see some theory about it and here's some shutter speed adjustment. Let's see, for example, you adjust your shutter speed with one over 1,000 of a second or one over 4,000 of a second. That'll be fast enough to capture cars on movement right? Of course, that depends on the distance of the camera, the angle of the camera, the, how fast is the car moving, but more or less you can like you start uh, configuring your camera with 1 over 1000 to 1 over 4000 and you can, you can adjust some adjustment and test and then you can see that your shutter speed can capture images clearly and then you can see your software recognizing this license plate without issues, okay? So it's pretty simple, there is no Secret for that is not rocket science, but you just need to learn how to adjust your shutter speed. Back here in the guide, uh, here again the car, and here I have a car 15 meters away, and here is some example with analog camera. Let me zoom in a little bit more. And here I have the controls for the menu, and when I press those controls, I can see this menu on the screen. With menu shutter speed, I can control 
let's say for example minimum 1 over 60 and maximum 1 over 1000. For this kind of situation I have just right here, that's enough. If it's not enough, you can just increase a little bit more your shutter speed and you can have the speed you want to freeze your image, okay? So that's it guys, if you need to control and freeze your image, just control your shutter speed. Okay, that's all for today. Don't forget to hit your thumbs up. If you like this video, don't forget also to click the link in the description to download the guide and leave your comments. Okay, see you in the next video. Bye.